Hello! It's been forever since I've made a video. Forever. I've decided to come back to video making, so yay. Since my last video, a lot has changed. I think I talked a little bit in my last video, just giving y'all an update about my animals, but now I have even more. Not really that surprising, I guess, because I literally bring home new animals almost every day now, and you know, it's kind of, it's kind of getting bad, but who cares? Today in this video, I'm just gonna talk about my animals, nothing else. I now have one. I have a lot of animals. So, let's get started. Animal number one, hedgehog. Or should I say hedgehog number one, because I do have three. One is named Kovu. He is very shy, as you can tell. I'm also gonna make an updated video about hedgehogs. In my prior videos, I didn't know as much as I know now. Now I am just, you know, the hedgehog expert of all time. So, <laughs> I'm gonna update, make a new video, um, answer a lot of things I didn't answer in my old ones, change some things I used to say that I've kind of, my opinions have changed about it, that kind of stuff. Say hi. You say hi to the camera. Yeah, that's you, grumpy pants. Okay, that was enough for him. So that's one pet down. Here are the next two. More hedgehogs. This is Piper. She's actually full grown. She is very small for her age, but this is as big as she's getting. And then we have Solara, who um, is definitely like the motherly figure of the three. She's very mature and, you know, very calm and laid back, except when she's on her back like this. She doesn't really like it that much, but I don't blame her. I love them both so very much. So as far as their cage goes, as their cage goes, they are in this. Kovu's on the top floor, Piper and Solara are on the bottom. And it just opens, and then the bottom one opens on the side. Hermit crabs are in a very big cage for hermit crabs. They are in a 20 long, which is a 20 gallon tank that is long. It's literally what it sounds like. They are over there. That's them. The biggest hermit crab, Godzilla. Um, he's about the size of the palm of my hand, a little bigger. Um, I got him from someone at the pet store I work at. They didn't want him anymore. They gave him up, gave him to me. He is definitely, he is, he is massive. There's this hermit crab. I have four of them. Let me go put him away. Moving on to the next animal. This is a creature I got in November. I have wanted one since I was like 12. As a matter of fact, when I got my first hedgehog, I was actually debating between a hedgehog or this creature. It is an axolotl. It's an endangered species of salamander. They come from Mexico. They're actually um, a protected species in Mexico. I came across an exotic pet store that had a tank full of them. They actually were in terrible shape. They were about this big and they had no gills. And axolotls are supposed to have big feathery external gills and he was actually missing all of his gills because his tank mates had bitten them all off. It was kind of a risk buying him because he wasn't cheap. I just I just wanted to, you know, make him better because I've always wanted one. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you him. Okay, so let me go ahead and get him. He's hiding in the back. And with axolotls, you always want to make sure you have nothing on your hands because they are very sensitive and it can really hurt them if you have, you know, a strong perfume or a lotion or something like that. He has grown a lot since I got him. Kind of hard to see him in his tank right now. It's just I need to clean the, the glass. But um, I do have a picture for comparison. You can see that his gills have grown a lot. They're super feathery now. And in the picture in, on the right is when I got him. He did not have the super feathery gills. And he's also really big and has a big tummy now. So that's him. I would say the hardest part about caring for him is to keeping his tank cold because they do live in really cold waters and it's really hard to keep your tank cold in Texas. But I do successfully keep it around 64 degrees in there, which is a perfect temperature for them. Okay, so moving on to animal number nine now. It is the guy that is in this cage over here, actually. It is my crested gecko. He is really, really freaking awesome. Um, if you've never had a reptile and you want to own a reptile, this is the one for you to start with. They are so easy to take care of and so awesome. Did I mention they're awesome? I will make a video about how to care for these. Um, I will make a video for how to care for my um, axolotl as well. But um, for right now, I'm just showing you all my animals. This is his enclosure. They do like to climb, so that is why it's a vertical tank and not a horizontal. He is full grown. My axolotl's name was Mushu, by the way. I didn't really mention that, but his name is Mushu. And this is Echo, Echo the Gecko. This is what a full grown crested gecko looks like with the tail. It is um, sometimes pretty difficult to successfully keep a tail on a crested gecko all of its life because if you were to scare the crested gecko or you know pinch the tail, it will fall off and never grow back. You don't regenerate their tails, so um, it's pretty awesome that he's been able to keep his tail this whole time. You can always tell how he's feeling because of his coloration. When he's really white, he's really happy, calm, relaxed, all that good stuff. When he turns a brownish black color, he is stressed out, worried, nervous, something like that, you know, could be a number of those things. 
so you can always tell how they feel because of their color. He is so relaxed, it is so easy to just sit him down with me and I can go do whatever I like and he will just hang out with me. It's pretty awesome. So that is my cage walk. Oh, there we go. So that is Echo. These are animals number 10 and 11. They are tanks, so there's a lot of animals in them. Keeping fish is like one of my new favorite things. I'm obsessed with it. Over here is my 40 gallon tank. It is a freshwater tank. This tank consists of aggressive fish and also not so aggressive fish. I really would not recommend ever mixing community, calm, peaceful fish with aggressive fish unless you know what you're doing and you know how to keep the aggressive fish happy. I don't have like insanely aggressive fish or anything because some of them are just downright impossible to keep together but I do have some pretty cool, um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my phone I'm gonna film a video for you of my tank. So, so here's my 40 gallon, it is super pretty, I'm very proud of myself for setting it up. Here we have a rainbow fish, he's just a typical rainbow fish. And there's a girl rainbow fish in there, so fish tend to be kind of reclusive. I've got a lot of species that like to hide. So basically we're gonna play hide and go seek looking for my fish. Here we have my brand new, my newest fish. I just got him. I call him a bush fish because I cannot pronounce his name. But um those words on the bottom, that's his name. So it's a leopard cinnabada. Probably easy if I actually paid attention to the word, but I just look at it and zone out. I'm probably not gonna be able to show you every fish I have because they like to hide a lot. Back there we have some sword tails. This is my butterfly hill stream loach. You can actually see his heart beating if you look close enough. It's pretty cool. Here are my two Amazon puffers. They're probably the bullies of the tank. They kind of give my other fish a hard time. And that's this tank. I actually have a few other fish in there that there's just no hope in finding because they're nocturnal and they like to hide. My other tank right here, I kind of started last minute. Um, it was yesterday. <laughs> what happened was I went to a Walmart and um, to my surprise, they had fish. I didn't know Walmarts sell fish anymore. I thought that wasn't a thing, but this Walmart did. And they had a green spotted puffer, which are puffer fish that live where rivers meet the ocean. So it's like, it's it's called brackish water. It's where salt meets fresh water. They had him in a regular freshwater tank with a billion other fish. All the fish had their fins eaten off. They were floating at the surface alive, but they had no fins because all the fish were eating off of each other. There was a few dead puffers in there. They were all eating all this stuff. It was bad. So um, I took one and um, decided to try to save this guy's life here because it really made me sad. Um, I at first tried to put him in my freshwater tank thinking since they had him in freshwater maybe he'd be okay but he was way too aggressive so I went ahead and made my own brackish tank which is where he belongs anyway. It's what's best for him. Um, he is doing really really well but I can go ahead and show y'all now. Let me get my phone out so I can film it. Here's my puffer. I've named him Yoshi. He's a baby right now. He has a lot of growing to do, but he is awesome and he is missing a lot of his fins. He just got them all nipped off in the other tank, but he should grow back pretty healthy soon here. And then here's one of my freshwater goobies. I actually think these things are so cute. They have the funniest faces. There is six of them in here. So there's a whole family of them. So this is my dog. Her name is Kiara. That was cute. Um, she is a Pekingese. She does nothing. It's awesome. Um, just kidding, she actually does a lot of stuff. But right now she's really tired, so that's why she keeps you on. The only other animal I have is a betta fish. He's temporarily out of my room in a really small tank. I had to get rid of his tank to make room for this one, so now I'm just trying to decide where I'm going to put him and what tank I'm going to put him in. And Originally, I was going to answer some questions in this video about my animals, but I decided just to show you them all instead. I will be making more videos soon. Kiki, stop yawning. Are you that tired? I will be making more videos now, very often. And um, I'm going to make a video about each and every one of my animals and how to care for all the different species. So if any of you are interested in any of the animals I showed you, I can show you how to take care of them. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I haven't been able to post things in a really long time. I'm going to do it more often now. Um, say bye, Kiki. Kiki, say bye. Say bye. Bye. Oh, I'm trying to get your mouth to move. Bye. Okay, she doesn't want to do that. Bye.